Hi guys, my name is Chad Trofgerben. I am the founder and content creator for IncredibleTutorials.com. I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 9 tutorials. So let's get started. The switch layer in Anime Studio acts like a group layer, except that only one sub-layer of the switch layer is visible at once. And we can switch between these sub-layers at any moment in the animation. And by the way, it doesn't matter which version of Anime Studio you are using. This feature will work in both Debut and Pro. For this example, I have created a red and green oval. I will now come over here to my Layers panel and choose New Layer, Switch. And I can name this layer Colors. Now I will drag and drop the green and red oval layers into the Switch layer. Notice how my green oval has disappeared. It's also grayed out on the Layers panel. If I right click on the switch layer, you can see I can choose between the two sub layers. In this case, if I choose green, the green layer now appears. And as I said, this can be done in animation. So if we advance forward a few frames and then right click on the switch layer and choose red and then advance forward a few more and then right click and choose green. And if I go back to frame zero, in play, you can see that it switches. And this is also indicated by keyframes on the timeline. So you may be asking yourself, why would I use switch layers? Well, let's say you want to have a character blink. You could create an instance where the eyes are shut and then one where the eyes are open. Or maybe you want to manually control a lip sync. You can draw in all the mouth poses, put them into a switch layer, and then activate that certain mouth pose when it's required for the character to make a certain sound. Or maybe you want to create multiple instances of a character, such as a profile shot, a mug shot, an angle shot, a back shot, and so on. You could rig up a character so that it's made up of switch layers and change his or her angle whenever you need to. And that is a brief overview of the switch layers in Anime Studio. If you have any more questions regarding the Anime Studio software, please visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you learned something. I have many more Anime Studio tutorials out there, so check them out, and I'll see you next time.